Okay then gang, so we've seen now how to navigate between two different screens and in this video what I'd like to do is actually start to pass data between that navigation, so from the home screen to the review detail screen. Now the first thing I've already done is I've got rid of the button and the on press handler up here which we just used in the last video to take us to the other screen, the review detail screen, and I've also deleted the button and the on press handler from this as well because we're not going to use those buttons anymore. This time what we're going to do is use some data which I've already pasted in as a bit of state and I've already imported use state up here and we're going to cycle through that data, output a list, and then we're going to attach some kind of on press handler to each item in that list. When we click on that, it passes that review data through to the review details screen, okay? So this data right here, const reviews and set reviews is equal to use state, which is an array of objects. Each object is a single review. And each object has a title prop, which is the review title, a rating, which is an integer, a body, which is the review details, not much at the minute, but that doesn't really matter, and also a key, which is a string. Remember, when we use a flat list, it's automatically going to look for that key property. So that's what we are going to do now, a flat list. Now we have our view, which has this style of container, and inside that I'm actually going to delete this text because we don't want that home screen actually to be there for real. So I'm going to delete that and now create a flat list instead. So we need to import a few things. First of all, I'm going to get rid of this button. We don't need that anymore. And we do need flat list. We're also going to be using touchable opacity in this as well so that we can click on each item. So let me import that touchable opacity and I think that's it okay so let's go down here and do this flat list so flat list like so and remember we need a couple of different props on this flat list the first one is the data prop which specifies what data we want to cycle through and that's going to be this thing right here reviews so let's copy that dude and paste it in and then the next thing is going to be the render item function so that is going to be equal now to a function and that function is going to return some JSX. Now instead of these curly braces, let's just put normal parentheses because at the end of the day, we're just returning something here on the same line and the JSX is going to go in between those. Now remember, we have access to the item by destructuring here. So we can grab that by using curly braces, then item. So now every time we output something, we're going to have access to the individual review via this item right here, okay? Now inside this, we want to return, first of all, a touchable opacity component, and then we're going to embed a text component inside that. So the text, first of all, is going to say item.title. So we're basically taking the current item and grabbing the title property, yeah? And then this touchable opacity, and by the way, let's add some styles to this text. I'm going to say style is equal to global styles. And then on the global styles, remember, we had a title text property. So we're going to use that for this. Now, the touchable opacity right here, we need to add an on press handler to that. So this on press handler, I'm just going to write the function in line, will be an anonymous arrow function. And inside this arrow function, what do we want to do? Well, we want to use this navigation object to navigate to the review details. So let's say navigation dot navigate like so. And then remember, we pass a string in here to say where we want to navigate to. That is going to be review details like so. Now we also want to pass some data through. And what we can do is pass a second parameter into this navigate method. And that second parameter is going to be an object. And this object represents the different parameters or data that we want to send to the review details. Now I could add any number of key value pairs. So for example, I could send a name property through and say Sean. I could also send like an age property through, which could be 23. As many as I want, they're all contained inside this object, which represents the parameters of data we're sending to the review details page. Now we already have an object that we want to send to the next page, and that is this thing right here, item. Because remember, the item refers to this entire object for every iteration. 
So for every iteration, we can send the item through so that when we click on the item, we then go to the review detail screen and we have access to that particular item data. And it's going to have all of these properties on it, title, rating, body, and key. Okay. So that's all that done. And if we save this, let's just make sure we get no errors. First of all, over here, and we don't, we see these different things. And if we click on one of them, then it does go through to the review detail screen. And we're sending that data through this item, but we're not doing anything with it in this screen yet. So we need a way now to accept that data and do something with it. So let's now go to the review detail screen. And down here, we can output whatever data that we get back. So instead of just outputting this, we can output, for example, the title or the body or the rating. Now, the way we do that is by using this navigation property up here that we get from the props. So let me output some data. We're going to say navigation. And then we use a method called get param. OK, now this get param method gets us a particular parameter from this object. Remember, this object has different keys and values in it. So we want to get one of these different parameters, the title, the rating, the body, etc. So say, for example, we want to get the title. We just say we want the title from that object. And now it's going to grab that and it's going to output it right here in this text widget. So if I save this now, let's have a look if this works. So let's click on this one. Got to catch them all again. And we see it right there. If we click on a different one, then we can see it there. So these all work, right? Now, instead of just showing the title, let's show everything. So I'm going to duplicate this and replace the title right here with body because we have a body property on this data right here. And we also have a rating. So let's output the rating as well. So let's save that now and see if this all works. So let's click on one Zelda and we can see all of the details right there. Click on another and all of the details are there and this one and all of the details are there. Awesome. So this is all working now. So that's how we send data when we're navigating from one screen to another. We use a second argument and that argument is going to be an object. The object should have different key value pairs in it and each key and value pair is a particular parameter. We then grab those parameters by using the navigation object that we get from the props and we use the get param method to get a specific parameter from that object. OK, simple enough. Now, I know the design of this doesn't look great yet, but we are going to come back to that later. For now, what I'd like to do is customize the header options a little bit and we'll see that in the very next tutorial.